Hello, this is a queen who cares. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, phenomenal day, everything going the way you would like it to go. And um, I'm just here with my daughter, and this, which is a uh, queen who cares presents Laura Lux. And we are going to be talking about some very interesting topics because it's very much needed. Every time we turn around, it's just some stuff is mess is going on. And we would like to uh, shed some light on some stuff because, I mean, it just the things that is going on is just unreal. It's just unnecessary. And it's just a shame our black men and women carry on this way. And um, I want to go ahead and um, let Laura Lux, uh, introduce herself and let her... Um, give you guys a shout out and let her talk about some stuff as well. Mm. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I'm always so honored to be in the presence of the queen, a queen who cares for you. Again, like um, the queen has already mentioned, my name is Loren Lux and I am a health and beauty ambassador. I have my own small business. And a lot of what I do has to do with really loving yourself, being on the quest to find out some things that you can change about yourself instead of indulging in what you think you can change about others, right? And I think, you know, what we wanted to bring to the forefront is the difference between love versus lust. Mm -hmm. Knowing what love really is and knowing when you're lusting after something. And lust, guys, do, do please make sure you look it up. It can define being angry, bitter, jealous, rageful, hateful, a liar, a thief. Yes, okay? Yes. Because when you operate in love, you don't do those things. You don't even have time to do those things because you're doing things that either you love to do or you're doing things with people who love you, okay? So yes. let's talk about love versus lust. And we already got a hot topic already, yes. straight out the press, y'all. It ain't even been an hour. And we got a topic we want to talk. So I'm, I'm giving the floor back to the queen so she can kind of give us a, a, a idea of what we're going to be talking about, and then we're going to discuss it. Well, I had just have a, mem a member of my family, and um, uh, my daughter has her own Facebook page, and you know, you know, most people got Facebook pages, and you know, she has a business as well, and she, you know, she do a lot of business things on Facebook, and she uh recently uh you know lost her uh children's father to suicide, and now this uh. It's, it's been how long that? That was August, 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 October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Well, we've been eight months, and now the sister is making all these false accusations on Facebook, just saying all kind of stuff that's unreal and untrue. Things, she's just saying things that she does not know about, and I tell you, I'm not going to much go into what she's saying, but it's just a bunch of fake, uh, false accusation, and it's not nice. You shouldn't um, say things like that with, with it, it, when you don't even much really you don't even much know nothing about the person or nothing, and you just you just basically saying what you're assuming, and it's nasty, and you got people on there just making all kind of comments, and they don't even much know they don't know my daughter, they don't know nothing about me. Yes, she went for us, me as well, <laughs> making all type of false accusations, which I have just met her maybe one or two times, high and by, and. I tell you, she is trying to uh, uh, criminalize our name, our character. She's just really trying to make us look lower to low. But you know what? It's, it don't bother us because we know that it's not true. And whoever plays into this and they just and, and, and making these conversations and having these conversations within themselves and making all these comments, they're actually as low as her or lower as well. So we just want to talk. You know, we just want to talk about, you know, things like that. You know, and you know what? This is when Facebook, it, you know, it, it makes you really don't want to have a Facebook page. I, I have one and I, you know, basically have just my family on there. But then you have to be careful with that, too. Like my daughter has a lot of followers. She has a lot of people she went to school with. And somebody's bringing back information she don't know who. So I just told her to the best she can do is delete all of them. Delete all the classmates and all this kind of stuff because you don't know who is telling this girl this and that and that and this, you know, for it's your personal business or whatever. But she just, you know, my you and you have to be careful 
what you put on your page and all this kind of stuff because people just they try to think they just run with they'll try to run with anything you know so it's just sad to know that people it's so hateful they like i said misery love company and they try to bring you down way they won't come they love company they're miserable and they want company as well and they try to bring you down to the lowest of the lowest and um, I'm going to let um, Laura Lutz elaborate on that some more. You know, and, you know, I'm just happy that we have a platform we can be transparent. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I do believe that a lot of our listeners are amazing, beautiful people. I'm not here to judge people, but I am here to be accountability, you know, to people. And I'll be honest with you, when I hear stuff like this, it makes me mad. Mm -hmm. It really does. Yes. It, it really, really makes me mad mm -hmm. because... Again, how do you have that much time to lust over lies? How can you have that much time to make up a half story about something that is not even the truth? How can you, how do you do that? And that's when we have to start looking. Now, guys, I don't want y'all to think, oh, well, you guys are coming down on this because, you know, we, we have these lustful tendencies. Well, here's the question. Here's the thing. Absolutely, we're coming down on you. Because mm -hmm. after you've done it so many times, don't you realize that enough should be enough? Exactly. Come on now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How many times do you have to hit the brick road before you realize that, oh, I maybe should have went the other way? Come on now. I mean, we're, we're not, I'm not going to sit here and hold nobody hand because ain't nobody held my hand. What about you, Queen? Has anybody no, held nobody. your hand? Nope, did they nope. give it to you, raw dog? Exactly. They gave it to you me raw and saying? uncut. It mm -hmm. wasn't no time for that. So what I'm, my concern is, if you're going to tell a story, make sure you're telling the full story and make sure you're telling the truth. Not only what the other person did, but what you did too. And when people start doing that, then we would have better communication to see where maybe miscommunications could have taken place. Exactly. When y'all sit here and make up these lies about people, you don't realize people's children are involved. Now, let's hypothetically speak that this young lady's daughter is old enough to be on her cell phone and she comes across something that nasty about her family. You don't know what psychological damage just her seeing those nasty lies could do to her. You could do anything to that young child, but you don't exactly. care about that. You know why? Because you're too busy worried about yourself. Exactly. You're not operating in love. You're operating in love. Exactly. Get off of loving hip hop. Get off of Housewives of Atlanta. Stay from off basketball wives. Please turn turn off the damn TV. Take your phone and put it in a ditch. Exactly. And go somewhere in nature. Take your shoes off. Mm -hmm. Give it away. If you upset, you that angry. Give it away. You don't. You don't even need to carry that much hate in your life. Exactly. And that's why I see why the old timers say instead of being upset with your enemies, use your enemies as your footstool and pray for them because they realize that you're going through way more hell than I'm going through being on the, the receiving end of your 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 nastiness. Exactly. Exactly. That is so true. That is so true. And. I mean, for you to just, and people don't understand, like I said in the podcast, well, we did a podcast, but it didn't come out the way we wanted to. But oh, man, we, <laughs> we had some fire for y'all. Don't worry, we was just warming up. We was just warming up. Yes, but, you know, when you go out there and you plant all these bad seeds in the earth, karma is a mug. What you you mm -hmm. will reap what you sow, and you're going to reap it triple, triple, dipple times. You know, because you know, uh, what you're doing like is there. You are digging a hole with the words that come out of your mouth. And you digging that hole just for yourself. So you should not make all type of false accusations about people that's not true at all. Because you should, you're you trying to make yourself look so good. But you're really making yourself look like a jackass. That's what you're really making yourself look like. Because you coming out with saying this and about it. I mean, the, you know, like they say, when you digging too hard. When you dig in a hole, make sure you dig one for yourself. And that is, mm. the old people used to say that too. And it's very, very true. Make sure you dig one for yourself. Because trust Don't me and believe, you will fall in that hole. Don't and, leave yourself out there. Exactly. And that hole is going to be a lot deeper than the one you're trying to dig for somebody else. Because trust me and believe that we will hear about it. And, and, and the thing about it is y'all got to grow up. Mm -hmm. Grow up. People who are grown, y'all, who have a wife, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Exactly. I, I mean, I can't even. I, my brain sometimes just oh, girl, blank. I know. I'd be so confused that I'm even having this conversation because you would think it would be common sense, but when you realize, like a great rapper said, you know, common sense is not common. It's not that common. It's not something that really people do regularly. They don't have so, common sense. You're sitting here lying on people, and here's the, here's the gag. One thing about me is I'm a realist, um, and I do believe that sometimes when people are angry and they're doing those things, they're going through something that we may not go know about. She might be going through the the grief of a loved one, mm-hmm. and in return, her way of showing her grief is to blame others. Right, exactly, and that look like what she's doing you know, too. You know, you might if even if you miss your loved one or whatever, you um you can handle it. You try to handle it in a, a positive manner. You don't just handle it, you know, tan tan you know tearing off at other ones. You know, you don't you not you. That's not a good way to handle it. You know? No, mm. not at all. And I think a lot of people, because they don't go, they don't go and get counseling. They don't go and talk to someone. What happens is they get angry, they get upset, and they take it out on people who they know are very nice and who probably are not even going to respond to them. Mm -hmm. So they know exactly what they're doing when they're doing it. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is that when do you, when do you realize that enough is enough? So this is when you should, this is what I feel when you see that you're doing stuff like that, you need to stop. Exactly. Exactly. You need to go three in, three in and seven out. Mm Mm-hmm. You need to take a deep breath. You see yourself getting so upset with the next person. Let's just say, for example, like I spoke about a young lady who was um, killed, unfortunately. A 15-year-old girl went to a, as Rwanda, she's actually a honor roll student, cheerleader, and, you know, a pillar in her community. Young girl doing great things, going to school to be a nurse at a historical black university. Mm-hmm. And she went out with her friends to a rally for the for the sports. Mm-hmm. And another young lady who was not happy that this girl was, you know, living her life, she stabbed her multiple times, killing her on the scene. Mm-mm. And you stop and you think to yourself, you were that upset with somebody that you decided to take their life because you couldn't have what they had. No, you were upset with yourself. Although you were only 15, you knew darn well you had no right to take a weapon and go and stab somebody. And don't sit here and tell me that you didn't know it. Even a person who has mental health issues can decipher the right between wrong. Exactly. That's true. Mm-hmm. Because I've seen it. That I've so seen true. people who can't talk and everything that can still comprehend. That's right. Okay? That's true. So I don't want to hear that crap. And here it is what you need to do. You get that upset. You know what you do? You take a deep breath. It, right. You put your feet flat on the ground. Mm-hmm. Close your eyes. Shrug your shoulders a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, get that energy, you know, moving around. Tell yourself, no, I'm not going to think negative. No, negative thought, go away. Get out my head, negative thought. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm better than that. Get up. Go outside. Get some fresh air. Do a few jumping jacks. Right. Drink some water. Right. Hell, if you got to smoke some weed, I ain't telling you to do it, but do what you have to do. Exactly. That's true. Calm yourself down mm-hmm. and reset your mind mm-hmm. and go back at it. But don't sit there and give into your temptation and allow the flesh to take over and you getting yourself so mad that you want to go and tell a lie or you want to shoot a stab or still. Come on now. Right. Exactly. Come on now. We got to do better. Okay. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. internet, it shows you. If you don't know how to be smart, you can type it in on YouTube. How to be smart. <laughs> and you will get a thousand videos. Am I lying? And guess what? You can always, if you ain't around nobody positive, the internet, use the internet for positive things instead of sitting sitting on social media doing things you ain't got no business doing, like this, such as this lady, this young lady. You you can type in affirmations, um, and it's a whole bunch of a- all type of affirmation. It, for every part of your life will come up. You ain't got to have nobody. It's, a lot of times, you ain't not going to be around real positive people. You'll be around more negative people than positive people, and you are... You while you on that social media, you can have a whole bunch of 
all type of people come on. Les Brown, Tony, what is Tony Roberts, all kind of people. Mm -hmm. And you can just saturate yourself in all these different affirmations for your health, for your mind, wisdom, love, love, self love, self care, all, all kind of stuff. So it's no reason why you, it's no reason why we're living in the age of information. This is one of the best ages to live in. We not not no longer living in the the stone ages. So you got uh, positivity all around you, just like we come in today giving out positive positive vibes. So it's no excuse for your stupidity. <laughs> stupidity. <Hell yeah. laughs> I could you couldn't have said it. Better. You heard what she said. She said what she said. There's no excuse for your stupidity. You could get mad all you want to. If you get mad, it's because we're telling you the truth. Exactly. Exactly. That's and it. this is what you, it ain't about the message. A messenger. It's about the message. Exactly. And you know what? This is what. This is what I stand for. This is what I believe in. Real life experience. It's, the things we talk about, it's nothing that we expressing out of opinion stuff. Everything we talking about, we are we basically already went through it. You know, we have already been through it, experienced, and done, been grinded and shaped. You, hey, y'all might look at us and say, oh, they YouTube, they are on there, they, they life good, you know. And more. But you know what? We ain't always have it like that, you know. You know, and we still be, we still getting grinded through. But it, why we, we getting grinded we through? Being mean to everybody. Exactly. We, grinded, we are here grinding to exactly. keep it moving and do even better. Exactly. Exactly. You know, we see beautiful women with fancy cars and big houses. We ain't trying to be no haters on there. We was like, yeah. When we see them, we said, go ahead, sister. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way up too. You know. <laughs> <laughs> We on your we, we on your to toes. <laughs> so, we trying to graduate. We ain't trying to hate. Exactly, and you and hey, and who wouldn't want to see your brothers and your sisters do well in life? I can't understand that. Why would you hate on a person like that? You know, my daughter happened to put on Facebook. She put on pending millionaire, and she was talking about her business. She oh, this young lady took it up to a whole nother level. She looked at that and just went berserk. <laughs> You know, oh. instead of saying to herself, well, at least, you know, I know my niece's mother is going to, you know, do good and my nieces will be okay. No, you too busy worried about, again, the wrong things. Exactly. You're probably mad because instead of you st staring at what she's doing, why don't you get off the internet and go do your business? Go do something for exactly. yourself. Exactly, exactly. Instead it's of worrying about what the hell Nene doing, Nene, uh, excuse me, I ain't even mean to say that. <laughs> That's okay. You know, <laughs> That's what, okay. What you, worried, what you worried about what somebody else is doing? It is none of your business what somebody is doing. Exactly. And if you don't like what you see on my page guess what it's the thing called get the heck off of it exactly exactly i don't understand people it really makes me feel weird when somebody tells me oh i commented on somebody what why though i, I like what makes you think that your opinion you know what i think happened and people may not agree with me i do firmly believe that at some point we got too much freedom of speech yeah i and do do i do too now people are wild banshees when 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 they were back in the civil rights movement i'm not saying women don't deserve rights but there are levels and things of nature that women were supposed to be doing that unfortunately has changed for us over the years, over the decades, over this last couple of centuries. And because of that, it allowed people to feel very obligated to say any and everything. And I don't understand why some people get silenced and other people don't. Exactly. There should be a rule on YouTube, on all of these platforms. If you come on a platform and you are blatantly disrespectful, there should be some way to have that person removed and blocked. Exactly, exactly. All if you the technology in the world that we have, exactly, I don't want to hear it. Exactly, that is so true. I truly, I, 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 I totally agree with you. I really because do. Because that is bullying. If you think about yeah, it, yeah, that's, that's what that's that's the same. That 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 is what she said. It's bullying. It's a form this of bullying. Is, this is bullying. You don't know. You know, you're sitting on the internet bullying someone and then bullying their family members, and they have children that know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And no, not only that, that's, it's slander, too. You can be sued for slander. 
slander and defamation of character. You exactly. cannot go around and make up accusations about me and and on the on on the internet. And also, too, that is a form of bullying. Exactly. You know, I know a girl right now on YouTube. She just started a whole anti-bullying campaign because it was this one girl and no and no shade to the LGBT community, Queen T. I hope you don't mind. Me oh no no no. Uh, you, you know, good? I'm not going to say anything disrespectful. Obviously, I respect everyone. As you know, I, I know to be. I was raised to have respect and values but i will be honest about my opinions and how i feel with being respectful to others and with that um this young man is a transgender and he was telling people he was a woman he never exposed that he was a transgender and he started a whole hate campaign for a major youtuber and people were going to her house trying to stalk her calling cps on her having cps show up at her house trying to take her kids all types of stuff because this person was bullying her on the internet oh wow what kind of sick person you don't you're that jealous of this girl Mm -hmm. that you was willing to to call cps on her and she did she's a good mom queen t the girl is a millionaire she take care of her kids Mm -hmm. she you know why would you do that what Mm-mm. kind of sick, twisted mind gets on the internet? And you know what? People like you need to be kicked off the internet. Exactly. Period. Exactly. They need Period. to be kicked off the internet. being allowed to have an account. Exactly. They need to be kicked off and never to return again in all the days of their life for just doing what they're doing. <laughs> Trust me. and believe that I I'm really believe that. And if I have right. anything to do with it, hey, I'm going to start something up. I'm sure it is. I'm going to make a noise. Like Miss Angie look, used to say, has, I'm going to make a noise. Hmm? Look, the queen has spoke. The queen <laughs> said, off with your head. If you come up in here acting like that, yeah. you got to go. Yeah, we trying to create a great community here where we can talk and share things and make comments. And, you know, like I say, anything you guys see that y'all, you know, topics that y'all would like to talk about, please put it in the comment below because we will respond and we will, and we will be gladly to talk about any topic that you guys might want us to touch bases on. But when you come up in here in these foolishness and Hey, we we ain't trying to do all that. And you know what? We ain't trying to... I ain't trying to have moderators. I just ignore y'all a block. Well, you know, if I need to have a... I, I'm so, we'll, we'll do that. But we hoping that everybody can be um, adult enough, mature enough to not be making these crazy accusations and all this kind of stuff. If you don't like what's saying to him, but well, maybe this is not the channel for you. And that's just the bottom line. And there is a button that's called you don't have to stay here. And I think you should press it if you feel like that. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, like like Queen said, we are not here to by any means trying to disrespect or anything. But we are not going to stand for any bullying or any disrespect because we come in peace. Exactly. We come in peace. And so we expect for our people, our community to also come in peace with us. And community, if you see somebody in the comments that's being rude or disrespectful, please don't hesitate. Let the, let the queen who cares know. You can text or email myself. Let us know so we can handle it appropriately. Exactly. You know, we're not going to stand for that type of mess because, again, we're trying to operate in love. We don't need people coming around us with this so nasty, negative energy. Let me tell you something. I am so thankful and grateful I never got the spirit of hate and me, jealousy. Yes, me too. Because I can look at a person and, and say, wow, she looked good. You know, wow, mm-hmm. he looks good. Wow, that's a nice car. When my friends and family call me and tell me they're doing good, I have a celebration for them. You that's hear true. me? That's true. That's you, true. You call me and tell me, Jessica, I just got a car. I just bought a house. I just bought a business, whatever. I'm celebrating with you, you know, because I don't have to hate. Exactly. Because I know, hey, if you doing good, I'm doing good. I don't want to be around nobody always doing bad, ain't never had no good in their life because they ain't even trying. Hey, again, we all go through ups and downs, but it's a difference. This young lady doing what she doing, some of the other crazy stuff that we've been hearing and seeing, y'all got to do better. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And this is not, this is this is just an incident right here, but I know they're going all over the world. There's people doing all kind of stuff out there. You know, even if we ain't hearing about it, they doing it. <laughs> but listen here, we're going to continue with a part two to this here because I don't want my video to cut off. And um, so right now I'm just kind of, you know, seeing how, you know, 
how long uh, this can go. I'm on my tablet here, but um, I want this to be a good video, and um, I'm going to cut it off, but we're going to do a part two tomorrow to this. And um, oh, wow. and so uh, anything else you would like to say, Laura Lux? Um, nope. Again, thank you for having me. As always, I can't wait to just give you guys more content. Stay tuned. You know, stay positive. Do your best to check in with your loved ones. If you have questions, hit us up. And like I said, I, I'm just looking forward to the kickoff to give you guys some great content with love, love versus lust. All righty then. Don't forget to how you say it, Lord. Com comment, share, like. Thumbs up, yeah, don't subscribe. Don't like, comment, <laughs> share, subscribe. <laughs> and anyone that you think needs to hear this video today, make sure you let them come and check us out. And we'll be hitting y'all up real soon with more. Peace, my beautiful beings. Peace, love, and light. I'll see you guys. And we will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.